Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a scenario uh, where we have a business A, which is selling consumer goods products. And uh, we look in the market, there are multiple competitors who are selling the same products. Now for business A to have an edge and get customers to their businesses, they can they have multiple uh, multiple ways to do that and one of the way is uh, to attract the customer is being price competitive having a very good price among the products compared to the competitors so this is a very common scenario which exists uh, in many multiple e-commerce websites and other businesses as well so uh, we are going to uh, go move forward with this kind of scenario and understand how does a person can understand how uh, whether they are competitive or not and we'll be doing this with the help of a web scraping technique in google chrome so assuming one scenario here suppose uh, we are a category manager at an e-commerce company and uh, we are handling uh, let's say sony televisions and uh, for Sony Television, we are uh, looking for a website, uh, noon.com, which is one of the popular e-commerce websites in the Middle East. And we are taking or comparing the prices of the Sony TVs in Noon, comparing with this uh, another website, which is called Sharaf DG, which is another popular e-commerce website. So now, uh, to do this first thing, I need to uh, go to the website and see how many Sony televisions do they have and try to scrape their details. So the first step which we'll be following this is scraping the website using the Google Chrome add-on, which I'll be showing you right now. So moving to the website over here, so we have Noon and Sharaf DG website loaded over here, Noon.com and Sharaf DG. So first, let's go over the televisions category and come to a page where we see all the television for Sony. So I'm just scrolling down. Usually there is a filter where we can fit all the filter, the TVs by brand. So I'm just scrolling down to find that kind of a situation. Okay, great. So here I have shop by brand. So if I click Sony, I come to a page where it shows me 20 results for Sony televisions. Now let me do the same for Sharaf DJ as well. All right, so I'm here in Shroud DG. I'll just filter for the brand Sony. And I have uh, some good number of products over here. These are the products over here. And I think this would be the number 31 products, but uh, we can see that. So here we have the television for Sony in both the websites. So now our next step is to try to scrape these details and try to compare it. So the first step, what I'll do, I'll just uh, try to move this to a uh, line by line level so I can basically see the full name of it. And for scraping the website, I'll be discussing one of the technique, which is adding a Google Chrome extension. So if you notice, uh, I'm, I'm currently in this page and I go to uh, more tools and then go to this page called extensions. When I go to extensions, I usually see the extension when, which I already have in Chrome. I have, if I have to download some extension, then I'll go to the extension store by clicking over here and then moving. Uh, just let me just move over thing. Over this here. So when I click over here, I basically find the Chrome Web Store for extensions and we'll be discussing the extension called Simple Scraper. So what I'll do, I'll just click over here and add to Chrome, add the extension. It's checking and it added. All right, to understand more about this simple scraper, I can read the documents over here, but uh, I'll just quickly show you how do I use the simple scraper to extract the information over here. So first I'll go to the extensions and I'll just pin this so I can have this here. 
I'll just click over here. And the first option is create this website. So when I go over here, it gives me an option that uh, if I want to add a property. So adding a property basically means that which, uh, which element of the web page I do I need to scale. So when I click a plus button, it gives me a random name, property name. So I know that I want to scrape the product name, the item name over here. So what I'll do, I'll just type here a product name. And if you notice, when I scrolled over the website, each element is, has uh, some boxes over it. So this basically shows that this, uh, this plugin is working and it is able to select elements from the website. And if you notice, it is written, if click not possible, press shift over the highlight element. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just click on shift and I realize that 20 items have been selected automatically and then it has detected a pattern. So I'll just click on tick mark and let me do for the price as well. I'll just put price and let me come to the price part and then just click on shift and I have 20 items. That's right. And that's it. My task is done and I'll just view the results over here. And okay, here is the data which I want to scrape. So now, uh, if you notice, there's a button called download CSV. So I'll just do that. All right, so I have the file downloaded over here. I'll just open it and take a glance over it. Okay, great. So I think the data is quite good. I mean, I'm able to uh, know the price and the prop name. Let's do the same for Sharaf DG. So let's come over here. Let's click over here and scrape this website. Uh, let me name this as also product name. Awesome, 31 items. And let me do for the price. That you want. Great. And good results. Great. So here I have uh, the product name and the price for both the websites, Moon Asher of DG. And this was uh, one of the tasks which I have to do, where I have to scrape the data from the website uh, which I require. And this is the way how we use. So here we come to a stage where we have all the data. In the next video, we'll be looking how do we use these two data sets and try to merge them, basically find which all products have uh, match are matching in the other website and try to uh, compare the prices. So do let me know uh, if you have liked uh, the video, please hit a like and subscribe button over here. And uh, let me know if it works for you.